All right, back by surprisingly popular demand. I, I don't know. I don't play a whole lot of these games, so it's kind of interesting when, yeah, they actually do really well. Uh, we've got more Operencia, The Stolen Sun. I apologize for any performance issues. They'll go away in a couple of days, but there's not much I can do about it. This looks like a dumb waiter kind of situation. Uh, nothing I can do about it, though, yet. So we can go up, we can go down. Down does not have water. Let's go up, I guess, first. This, that rock looks suspicious. But nothing, I guess. Let's just look around. We might just not have anything in here. And that's fine. I really like the music on this. This is, this is a decent game. I, I don't know, I guess, uh, what? Oh, oh right, because there's that water level thing. Uh, I guess I'm always a, uh, a little bit... I've been trying to temper my expectations, I guess, in life. Uh, and games, because I... I've been playing a lot of them lately, obviously. And so, you know, whenever I see, like, a first-person dungeon crawler style game, uh, I'm usually like, eh, it, you know, it might be good, but my, you know, I, I temper the expectations, because I know... You know, half the time it is kind of disappointing for whatever reason. Okay, right. We got some equipment I can work with. Uh, we actually have quite a lot. Uh, let's see. So let's let's go to characters. So new helmet, more armor initiative. Well, we should probably give him the helmet. Uh, let's optimize him first. So he's got a pair of daggers and a bow. And we're gonna do club and rusty sword. Let's see, would it be better to have the fish shield? Or the rusty sword? Probably the rusty sword. Okay, anyway, that clears up my inventory a little bit more. We do have some linen shoes. Hopefully we get some more party members along the way here. And yeah, no bucket helmet for Sir Bucket. Look, we gotta find one first. Sir Bucket does not get his full loadout that fast. We know where this goes. Let's drop it off soon. It literally exists just to be heavy. I thought you said you didn't want to go back into the dungeon. I did, but goal, probably. Yes, probably. So we found the bear, the cat, oh. This is the puzzle. So the bear, the cat, and the mouse. I do not remember the tip we we got, but that's, that's the puzzle there. So we're gonna go back and find the, uh, the dumbwaiter situation. Uh, it was around here somewhere. I'm just gonna meander. Clear the map out. Did I get this? Locked. And we don't have the right key. Okay. So we want... Bear... Oh, bear, fox, and mouse. To get that door open. Of course, we actually have to find said thing, and we also haven't opened up any secrets. I don't actually remember where that puzzle is. It's around here somewhere. It was like as I came in in this area, so it might actually be over... No, it's not over here. It is somewhere here. Maybe it's down the stairs? Yeah, there it is. That's not enough. And that's also separate from the, the bear fox rat puzzle. I, th I think? So it's going to take a little bit of doing... Figuring out where and what. So it's... down. It is down. Okay, so how do we... how do we even manipulate this? Because I don't see any levers. Maybe... Yeah, I don't see a means of manipulating it.
Hmm. Yeah, solve the hanging animals puzzle. The problem is, like, I don't see any levers, switches, or... or controls of any variety. And so I see them there, but I... I it doesn't look like I have... any immediate control. Aha! Didn't think to light the torches. Well, that's one way to unlock a door. This castle sure had one hell of a locksmith. I'm going to repeat what I said earlier. I really wish Wizards of the Coast would hire some people to make games like this. Alright, we got the chest key for the chest downstairs. I'm betting that just has the, the weight in it. Nothing fancy. Oh, there's the, uh... The bear, fox, whatever puzzle keeps going. Can't go this way, though, so I guess we're just going to have to leave this for a bit. Anyway, uh, let's go check out that chest. Man, can you imagine having to walk through, like, a... I'm going to say a six-inch, like, layer of water every time you need to go up and down stairs. You'd be so just drenched in gold. Now we got a cleaver and gold. And no key. Interesting. But yeah, I I don't know. Like, I could really see some like solid Wizards, Wizards of the Coast, Dungeons and Dragons style products that play almost exactly like this. Bugs me that there's this tiny chest there and it can't do anything about uh, anything about it, anything with it. Hmm. Still nothing to manipulate that. A banner, yes, but nothing there. Hmm. There, closed door, closed trap door. Ah, this is how we go up and down. So what other places have I not been to yet? Because we've got this locked door here. We've got one locked door there. We're missing one more counterweight. We never... We didn't look at this as well. I don't think we've been down to basement two yet. But I don't see a means of getting down there. So you can put out the torch near the door. Well, I can turn it. Oh, that's just weird lighting. It looked like he had some kind of green arrow. So, bear, fox, mouse. Bear, fox, mouse. Bear, fox, mouse. Bear, fox, mouse. Okay, so this must be... Yeah, Who there we go. You? Yet another deranged locking mechanism. I have a feeling this will unlock more than just the prison doors. We were praying for a hero to come. I'm assuming you just have to get them all, all the way to the end. Problem is, we've got to figure out how to get the fox forward. There we go. I mean, honestly, it looks like we have to keep going backwards with the fox. And then we can just get the mouse up. Because I think this one just moves the mouse forward. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so... Nothing fancy, we just had to get them to the top floor, and that was it. Okay, I didn't know if there was a specific Thank pattern. You. We know the way out. That's six beautiful women we freed, and six beautiful women to head out the door right away. 
Story of my life. I'd say maybe one of the three we have left to save would be different. But I wouldn't want to get your hopes up. How kind. Three more to go. They continued the search. Okay. Oh, interesting. Uh, Q and E just are, are full turns makes sense. Anything interesting in any of these? Because I didn't actually check the cells that well. Because we, we haven't found a single secret. I've been looking, but I'm not seeing much. I want to say they were more obvious in Grimrock, but there's a very real possibility that, like... I don't know. Well, at least we get a bracelet, a rune, and more gold. This is more profitable than the last time I put my life on the line. Rescue missions, where have you been all my life? Okay, well, one way or another, we're done with this. We haven't found the other counterweight yet, which is unfortunate, but that that's okay. Let's see, with the free, free camera, have they done stuff in the ceilings? I haven't seen anything so far, but admittedly, I'm cursed to never look up in video games. So there's a very real possibility there is actually stuff up there, and I've just been completely negligent. Like, that is something I will own entirely. Sounds like the dragon is not happy with us. Anything here? Anything in the corners? Unfortunately, the, the moving water texture makes it a little harder to see. How is the performance, by the way, today? Uh, people were saying it was kind of chuggy. You know, I can actually, I can actually watch myself on my iPad directly in front of me. I'm sure, I'm sure, like, uh, the quality always gets kind of dodgy. Did you hear that? Yeah, I'm sure the quality always gets kind of dodgy with streams, especially when I'm on my parents' kind of crappy internet. But, like, that's about it. No chug today. Okay. Yeah, so there might be some, like, internet-ish issues, but as long as, like, the frame rate is acceptable, then that's fine. Okay. Because, yeah, I can deal with things being low-res and whatnot, uh, low-res looking, but... It is not acceptable when it, it performs terribly. So I'm assuming that is still not a secret. I might actually end up having to look them up. I know that's like super against the spirit of these games. Whoa! Yeah, spooked the shit out of me. I'd say keep your guard up, but I just want you dead. Let's see. Well, we do. That's good for that one. Dang bitch. Ah, uh, stop poisoning me. Okay. At least he does damage. Uh, let's just block. Gotta get my energy back. Yeah. Agility must get you that second attack. Because I feel like Yoshka is constantly doing a double attack so here. Soon. And Bucket, not so much so. But then again, Bucket's base damage is so much higher. Rusty Dagger. No one has used this for hundreds of years. Let's see, so you only have a party of two. I think you can go up to a party of four in this game. However, so far, party of two. I don't necessarily know what my party is going to be. Hopefully I get a little bit more customization as I go along. But, I don't know. No promises? Okay, so let me look. So that over there is open. Oh, there might be a pathway over in here. Oh yeah! This is straight up just a passage that I ignored. 
Insert what kind of key. key fits this lock? Well, none that I have. We still haven't found the last counterweight. They entered the wine cellar. And here we are, the greatest treasure room of this castle. Yes, enjoying any of its contents will slow your reflexes, leading to certain doom nearby. Must you ruin everything? Interesting, so it's a rotating it's a rotating wall puzzle. Well, we might as well get the entire as much of the map explored as possible, or at least explore what I can, before I start messing with doors. Do you really think you could clamber over those boxes and barrels and stuff? Like, that wouldn't really be much of an impediment in real life. Have there ever been games like that, where you just, like, immediately flip the script, uh, script on the game design? I want to say Deadpool did, th did that, but I'm not entirely sure. Let's see, and there's no way to open this up. Because Deadpool had, like, platforming segments that were passable. They weren't amazing, but they were enjoyable enough. Okay, so we've got access. We've done what we can. Now time to just start clicking on things with wild abandon. If anyone does want access to wine here, they sure do have to earn it. We're never getting out of here, are we? Well, I suppose I could think of worse places to live out my final days than a wine cellar. Okay, we got another chest key. Let's see, I don't see anything else around here. So we might as well try- oh yeah, we gotta get in here anyway. This castle continues to educate me on new methods of opening doors. Let me see. So have we gotten everything in here? Yeah, it looks like that. It looks like it, because you can't get back there. I think everything else is more or less open. Yeah, alright. This is actually a lot easier than I thought it was going to be. Usually when I see stuff like this, I'm like, uh, you know, do I have to do anything complicated? And the answer is, no, I just kind of have to go through it. Your loot better be worth this. Okay, so we've got... Well, honestly, I might as well have him go for the sorcerer in the back. Stay down. Owie. That that dude in the back uh, is is hurty. Can, can I not? Oh, he taunted. That's why. His skeleton sorcerer is uh, he's punchy. But not Why particularly strong, so I guess it's not that big of a deal. Okay, so we get a bandage. Oh, wait, no, we just leveled up. That's easy. Uh, let's see. Check inventory. Check characters. Check... Or is it journal guide? No, it is characters. Ah, here it is. The UI gets a little murky. Anyway, more strength! Let's see, poison resistance. Poison resistance wouldn't be terrible. Oh, wait, no, I could just get combustion. Deadly cloud to deal poison damage and fire it up with the proper materials to deal three to seven f fire damage over two turns. Cool. I just l like the idea of maybe building this guy for poison. M maybe? I don't know. It seems more interesting than the regular attacks, but... Okay, so what is his chance for extra attack? 13%. Yeah, so the higher your agility, the higher your chance of double attacking. That said, I'd rather have melee hit rating, a little bit of extra health, block, damage? Or is hit rating... hit rating is damage. I, I think? Because it doesn't cover accuracy there. I don't know. Anyway, we're going to have one one beefy bucket. Okay, so ring. 
Extra strength. Tunic. Rags. The mace. The cleaver, which I forgot to equip. I'm just gonna use optimize all, at least for a little while, until I'm used to this game. Then I'll then I'll probably start, uh, you know, custom building. This is right now we have Bupkis anyway. Okay, there's something on the other side of this wall. This looks the closest to a secret I've seen so far. Unfortunately, I don't have a beat door down option. So still, uh, let's see. See interactions. And you. Okay, skills and potions. Hmm. Ah, here we go. So, this is just how we check. Yeah, whatever there is, there's something on the other side. But still. Okay, so that torch opens and moves. Not all of them do. I try and move my mouse over the torches as we go by. Ah, no, I did get it. Uh, yeah, I try and mouse over every torch as we go by. Where's the challenge? Uh, let's see. Not really a whole lot of point to. Let's see, what is that? Extra initiative. Oh, interesting. Uh, yeah, I, I try and mouse over every single one of them as I go by. But not all of them seem to have anything. And it might also be one of those that it only it only shows the interaction if you're really close. Uh, because this is a first-person dungeon crawler, I don't exactly get that... Uh, you know, I, I don't exactly get the feedback for... You know, is this the right place? I don't know. Anyway, we are inside this treasure chest. That's okay. So, that still didn't count as a secret. Really? That didn't count as a secret. I mean, I guess it wasn't that secret. It was pretty obviously, like, thing on the wall. But, like, if that doesn't count as a secret... I don't know. I'm confused about this whole business. See, yeah, can't... What's the point of this dumb corridor? Because, yeah, if that torch didn't count as, as a secret... As they left the wine cellar, they agreed on one thing. There may actually be one room worth returning to in this cursed place once this is all done. What? Which room? Hello? Wait. What? No, that sword looks awesome. Damn it, game. We're not getting across this pool, are we? Alley hop? No. But yeah, that's like a cool looking sword there on the rack and nope. It should come as no surprise that we open the door somewhere else entirely. Any ideas on how to get through this one? It is done. Now, whom shall I punish? We're not going in there, are we? I see no other way. Fuck it, the brave. I dragons oh. were fiction. Do you think we'll actually end up face to face with one? They say that the dragon is actually King Breg's pet. There's a little more to it than that. I sense another story coming. Much more personal this time. You see, that dragon is Breck's prisoner because of me. I saved his daughter from it myself. What, you don't believe me? Not for a second. It's true. Well, my three brothers helped. Last time I ever saw them. Probably 30 years ago. The false sentimentality doesn't make it any more believable, Yoshka. A huntsman, a tailor, an astronomer, and a thief. Guess which brother impressed his father the least? The lying one? Huh. Not this time. We combined our skills to free the princess from the dragon. 
I never felt so close to them. We thought we had killed the damn thing. But alas, Breck felt compelled to nurse it back to health and keep it locked beside his throne room. Breck promised us each great lands in his kingdom as a reward. Funny how he never followed through there. He certainly had plenty of time to. Before becoming a frog, I mean. I'll play along. What became of your brothers? It's more a matter of what became of me. My reputation as a thief was harming them. They disowned me. I'd say you've got me now. But you haven't earned that yet. <laughs> well, who says I'd want to, dear dreamer? Okay, so we're just gonna save. I don't really need to rest, I'm just gonna hoard firewood like a crazy person. Uh, let's see, I, should probably... I hope you don't think this is the beginning of some kind of legendary friendship. Soon as we get paid, I'm off. Well, you're the one welcoming me to this partnership, remember? Touché. Well, I guess that's the end of those earthquakes. What could have done this? Not what. Who? And the answer? Me. The bigger they are, the more they can talk. You're no mere soldier, are you? What gave it away? This inescapable throne room? You truly are too large to leave this room, aren't you? A curse upon a curse. That the prisoners you freed would have lifted. Through human sacrifice, no doubt. How trite. The captive dragon has been my only company for twenty years. And you forced me to kill him. Don't worry. We'll be back together soon. I don't really know if that actually helped that much, but whatever. So this guy hits like trucks. That's evil. Don't know if Chance has done that effective. Okay, he does have... I'm just gonna hit him with spells. We should probably focus on healing, at least a little bit here. But I, I figure we didn't rest before this fight. We can absolutely rest after this fight. I mean, we are rolling his his giant slimy ass. He is not doing hot against us. Blech. Almost landed on us. I might have even. Okay, critical damage initiative. Cool. I expected more of a challenge from a dragon slayer. So, anyone hungry for frog's legs? For the next five years? How did he even kill the dragon? You really think a dragon would be able to put up a fight? Also, why did he kill his dragon? They didn't really explain that bit. He's just like, you forced me to kill him, and it's like, what? Why? Okay. Necklace and Mystic Cube, Vial of Light. Yoshka could Stuff. not believe his eyes when he gazed upon the rare treasure dropped by King Breck. The Vial of Light was designed to see beyond the sight of man. Breck must have carried this for a reason, but how to fill it? I still hear things bumping around in here. I think they're above, so let's go up. Hello! The last tower. You ready? Is anyone ever truly ready to face what this castle has to offer? Sounds like your dream beer was a little vague on the specifics. Well, I can explode them. Right, we're gonna go back and rest. Well, we can go back and rest immediately after this. Wow, that was effective. Hot diggity dang. Like, I was not expecting to, uh, that, that fire, ex fire poison explosion is obscene. I am glad I specced into it. Now, nothing with the heater shield. Do you really think you could nab the heater shield in this game? Nothing on the torch. There's a torch over here. 
no. All right. Yeah, let's let's go back. Cuz at the very least we want to we want to rest. 